He doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it! Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triad Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused too. Then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it stands now? First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Desions. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades and not Desions? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Desions. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Desions. Alright, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Desions. So then who's that angel guy, you Drassiel or whatever? And what about Kratos? Do you remember you Drassiel's work? This is just pure conjecture, but Crucius. Holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the designs may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait. What? How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the designs as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the design five grand cardinals said that their boss was Eudrasio. And Eugdrasil said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Designs. When he appeared before us. If the Designs and Crucius are the same, well then what about Kratos? He obeyed Eugdrasil's orders. That means... That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius' four seraphim. Kratos is likely a subordinate, Eugdrasio. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. So we were deceived from the very beginning. By Remiel, the Crucius, even Kratos! <sighs> ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the next room. Renegades? Correct. We're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions. Or rather, the Crucius. So Crucius and the Desions really are the same organization? Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open, and operates the Desions from behind the scenes. The Desions are a subordinate organization within Crucius. The Church of Martel is nothing more than an instrument created by Crucius to rule the world. Those who call themselves angels are half-elves who have evolved by using a special type of X-Sphere called the Crucius Crystals. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half-elves too? Yes. Some of the Desions, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half-elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head of them? Do they wish to revive the goddess Martell? They send oracles to those of the mana lineage and control their marriages to create chosen who become the vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. I am impressed. There is another world beyond Silver Run that competes for mana. Tathayala. Yes. And the one who created this twisted world was Crucius's leader, Eudrasio. Create a world? That's ridiculous. No one can do that. That's what you believe, and our conversation ends here. Wait. If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? That's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me. You're certainly not on our side. And if for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Excuse me? 
Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on her. But now we have the key to stop Martel's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? Well, what's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma. Kratos! How many times must you get in my way? Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was... Lloyd! What are you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. And the last part, stuff happened that I'm not going to tell because you pretty much just heard it all right there. In this part, we're going to be escaping this base so that we don't get captured. Again. Juice is going to Ice Tornado next. Next, that's going to be his next move to learn. However, I'm going to show off Colette because. She got a new move while she, she was, her soul was being taken and crap. All right, looks like we're going up. So these are just the same old the renegades that we've seen before in the past, just a little stronger. However, this is a good chance to show off judgment. However, sometimes those are very friggin' good. I personally just like the look of it. I still prefer angel feathers for combo getting, however, judgment also works. For just damage. Anyways, looks like we have a character skit. Lloyd humiliated. あんたさっきはクラトスのやつ相手にいい勝負してたね。結構腕を上げたんじゃないのかい？クラトスのあの程度も外さない。あいつ、手を抜いてなかったんだ。くそ、馬鹿にしやがって。Believe it or not, yes, Kratos was holding back because if you look up on like a certain song that shows stats of enemies. Kratos and HP in that fight is actually halved. So, that's a little interesting little thing to put into the game, and I totally didn't mean to get to figure out that. But I'm still surprised they did good on that fight. Like, with all the items I was using, you'd think I would have sucked at it, but no, apparently I did great. But apparently, we're still talking about Kratos because we have even our character skit about him. あ、そこから僕たちを騙してたんだね。どこかおかしいと思っていたけど。でも結局は見過ごしてしまった。愚かしい自分が嫌になる。ちっくっ。クラトスのやろう。絶対許せねえ。ロイド。ある。セイフォ
favorite thing? Get dressed in Hill's aim. あの、Anyways, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by the character skit. Yeah, I have a kind of a block puzzle here. It's not hard. Block in the blue, the blue panel yet because we didn't need to use it in order to get those two treasure chests over there. Speaking of treasure, we got something good for defeating Krakus. Not a new sword. We got EX Jungle Three. Uh, looking speed cast looking nice. I think I am going to do that. Nope. Go back there. So yeah, there is actually a benefit to defeating Krakos. You can lose the fight. And nothing story-wise will change except for that character skin I got right there. I don't think that'll be there. Actually, I know that won't be there because it talks about him winning. So... Just keep in mind that you don't have to win. I just wanted to so I could show it off and show off basically my skill of the game. By I'm spamming, I mean. HML2 and the straw hat. Which is good for genus, I believe. Uh Colette. I know you're kind of uh, a puppet and all, but I still need you to do stuff, so I'm just gonna put that on your own. Anyways, I have to move the blocks all the way back. Yes, this is really tedious, I know, but. I believe you have to put them back horizontally. Move this block. And now we can go down. Make sure I had the blocks on that little elevator looking thingy. I'm so descriptive, I know. Uh, let's zap this. 
Now turn on this machine and we can lower the blocks down so they make a bridge for us. Is there anything over here? Oh, well, I don't think this will be the last time you can come here. Switch. Now lower the water. And now we can hit this. And miss. There we go. I don't think there's anything over here. Let's just go on ahead. What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether they're our enemies or not. Lloyd, what are we going to do now? We've got to save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. But what can we do? Sheena, where did you get your X sphere Huh? Well, that came out of nowhere. I got this before I came here. They attached it to me at the Imperial Research Academy. Is it normal for people to equip X-Spheres in Teveala? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, X-Spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. So Teveala and the Renegades are on the same side? I'm not sure if you could say that, but the Renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. And the plan to assassinate the Chosen was their idea. They talked the King and the Pope into it. If you desire for Tethayala to prosper, kill the Chosen of Silverant. That's horrible! Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tethayala. Why Tethayala? Don't you remember what Ewan said? Angels are half-elves that evolved using special x spheres called Crucius Crystals. I get it. Colette's current condition is caused by the Crucius Crystal. Since Tethayala is studying the X-Spheres, they may know something about Crucius Crystals as well. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius Crystal that belongs to Tethayala's Chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a Chosen in Tethayala too? Of course. The World Regeneration Ritual is carried out in Tethayala as well. The Church of Martel exists too. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martel's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation were... No, never mind. Yeah, there are too many things that we don't know. Crucius's objective, the renegades, the method to save Colette. So let's just start with what we can do now. So, we're going to Tepeala? Yeah, that's the only lead we have right now. And this time, I'm going to fulfill my role. I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait a minute. That's great and all, but how are we going to get to Tethayala? I'm sure Sheena knows how to get there, correct? My understanding is that you can travel to Tethayala by passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riyards are the only things that can do that. Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. Okay then, let's get going. Okay, well, we know where that is. It's that special looking room that we encountered that one time before. Remember? I'm just gonna avoid all of you. Right in here. So these are the Riards. Hurry, they'll catch up to us.
What's happening? I don't know. It just suddenly... Look, the fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... We're gonna fall! <coughs> to avoid destroying them completely. But they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. How do you guys manage to actually live in Silverant? Then magic, I assume. Perhaps the lightning that Volt produces? Then all we have to do is have Sheena summon Volt, right? I haven't made a pact with Volt. Oh. Well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. Here I thought Magi technology was infallible. What's that? That's the Tower of Salvation. Why is that here? This is Tepeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the flourishing world. The tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? Two worlds. Two towers. What about the Holy Ground? The Church of Martell is also over here, correct? Is the holy ground called Carlon? Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the holy ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. The holy ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records in our museums that depict how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the holy ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. So, either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Lloyd, that's not possible. Don't get mad, I was just kind of saying stuff. Anyway, let's get going. It's true, we aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. Wow, it's our first adventure in Tepeala. Genus, this isn't a field trip. Sora ni shite mo bikkuri sa! Sora o tobu nante metta ni dekinai keiken desu mo ne. Sora kara ochiru keiken mo ne. Shikata nai da ro? Silverant no funi o kaiho sereba kochi no mana ga usuku naru nda kara. Usui te itte mo kochi wa Silverant ni karabeta ra zeibu mana ga oi yo. Alright, I think I should end up here. In the next part, we will climb this down this mountain and explore Tetayala. See you guys then.